guys, IBX Gaming here. Today I will be showing you a little shack I built for you guys. Let me just enable fly. And it's a nice little shack. It's got an attic right here. And if you come in here, you got a nice little storage area with some chests. And then this is just like a little dining area. Do that. You got a little dining area. You can put your cake down in that. And I just built it like that so it can like not take up space. Like nice. Kind of go with that. Um, got a little reading area here to sit. A little music playing area. Okay, let's get on with the review. And you come into your bedroom. And you got a nice little white white tulip, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, white tulip. A uh, little model uh, drawer. You got a closet with some pajamas and coat and shoes. Then you got a little attic you can run through. Look out the windows, just full of torches. And that's all. Or is it? If you come to this chest, you can grab one redstone torch. Come over to your bedroom. Open up your closet. Stand right here. Place your torch down. And if your torch doesn't fall down with you, you just gotta jump because it would be placed over by the armor stands. Walk in. This is to open and close your little hidden door so no one knows it's there. And I'll start from left to right. So this button opens up a little room right here. Which is like a meditation room, I guess. You just walk in, look that, and then you're sealed in this until you flip that again. Click that to open it. Oh, and don't flick this unless you're in there. If you flick it when you're outside, it'll be permanently locked. Then right here you got a little infinite water station. Got a super smelter right here. Um... And I just used a map to cover that up. You put your coal in and your uh, whatever you want to smelt. Over here you got a little area. It opens up into a storage area with chests up here. Uh, enchanting table with bookshelves. Crafting table and an anvil. Then you walk over here. Open this. You got click that to close the door. This will lock it too. Then you got a little armor equipment station here, which shoots out a bow, and diamond sword, and you got full armor. And I'm just gonna put those back in because, well, I'll put them in after the review. Then you open it up, close that. You got another portal here. That turns it on. That turns it off. But before we do that, I bet you didn't see this button here. Click that. It opens up this area right here. Walk in. And this is like the prize room slash collection room. Got iron. Not that much of an accomplishment. Diamond, huge accomplishment. But you, these are models. Then you got gold dabbing. <laughs> I, I, I gotta return it though. And it's not dabbing anymore there then you got your actual like prizes because creeper you got i'm pretty sure it's a charged creeper you need to and a skeleton to kill it with a skeleton ain't that hard another star it's a, wait that's another star yeah and then the dragon's head if you open this door you got your little maintenance tunnel which is just full of uh all the redstone it's not supposed to look pretty. And you just got all your like stuff here. Run over here. I did all most of this by myself. This I got off of a video because I couldn't figure out my own version. And these uh, tileable pistons can go for 15. Uh, I came up with a sand design. Um, yeah, I use it a lot. And then if you travel up here right into here you got the water area 
This is just part of the uh, contraption that gets you into the maintenance tunnel. Then you hop back out. Oh, one thing. This redstone will open this door when the when that's closed, and it'll just close it when it's open like this. So, just a little thing. Close it. Oh, I just need to show you one thing though. If you open up the water and then open this, this piston will go up just due to the design of this and both ways. It does not affect this in any way though. With that out of the way, let's go to the nether. You gotta walk out a certain way right here, and that's so if you're walking over here, you don't accidentally hit. It's just another wart, wart farm, cause I'm going to put a uh, a brewing stand in the um. Hmm. I'll put a brewing stand right here for you guys, and. You can walk out with the pressure plate, you got the entire nether, and you got a fortress right beside. Right there. And then you click this button to get in, and you can just go back through. And that concludes our tour. Um, you can click this again and it'll open up. Click it again, you'll go right out. Like nothing happened. Anyway guys, this has been IBX Gaming, and we're out.